Welcome to ASE exam practice test. Our topic today is automatic transmission. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. On an electronically controlled 4-speed automatic transaxle, you experience a shock when shifting from N to D. Which of the following will require an off-vehicle repair? A line pressure test. B. Auto transmission fluid temperature sensor. C. Control valve assembly. D. Forward clutch. The correct answer is D. Forward clutch. Explanation. The only off-vehicle repair listed for a vehicle that exhibits a shock when shifting from N to D range is the forward clutch. All of the other distractors are on vehicle repairs. Number 2. Preliminary diagnosis on an electronically controlled automatic transmission or transaxle consists of all the following tests, except A. Line pressure test B. Fluid check C. Flex plate check D. Stall test The correct answer is C. Flex plate check. Explanation. Checking the flex plate is not a part of the preliminary diagnosis process. Number 3. Technician A says engine, suspension and driveline problems may appear to be caused by the transmission or transaxle. Technician B says you start with the simple inspections first to ensure that you have not overlooked something and you can use the scan tool for further clarification. Who is right? A. Technician A only. B. Technician B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. The correct answer is C. Both A and B. Explanation. Technician A is right because many suspension and driveline concerns and noises may appear to be caused by the transmission or transaxle when they are caused by the suspension. For diagnosis, you put the transmission in neutral and see if the concern changes or goes away. If it goes away, the automatic transmission should be investigated. Technician B is right because you always do the easy and simple inspections first to make sure that you have not overlooked something and you can use the scan tool for further clarification. Number 4. You are checking fluid color on an automatic transmission or transaxle. Which of the following will cause the fluid to be varnished with a light to dark brown color? A. Oxidation from overfilling. B. Water contamination. C. Engine coolant contamination. D. Wear from friction material. The correct answer is A. Oxidation from overfilling. Explanation. Oxidation from under or overfilling will cause the fluid to be varnished with a light to dark brown color. Number 5. If an inspection of automatic transmission fluid shows a pinkish color and indicates water contamination, which coolant system component is a possible cause? A. Dipstick B. Heater core C. Cooler D. Water pump The correct answer is C. Cooler. Explanation if the automatic transmission fluid or ATF fluid cooler has a leak, engine coolant will intermix with the auto transmission fluid and turn pink because the auto transmission fluid is red and when mixed with coolant turns pink. Number 6. Technician A says the stall test is performed to see if the torque converter and internal holding components operate properly. Technician B says the stall test is conducted before the line pressure test. Who is right? A. Technician A only. B. Technician B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. The correct answer is A. Technician A only. Explanation. Technician A is correct because the stall test is performed to see if the torque converter and internal holding components operate properly. Technician B is wrong because the line pressure test is conducted before the stall test because if you stall test a vehicle with excessively low pressure, further damage could occur. Number 7. A technician experiences a sharp shock when shifting an automatic transaxle from neutral to drive. Which of the following is the first thing you check or test in the diagnosis process? A. Line pressure. B. Engine idling. RPM. C. Throttle position sensor. TPS. 
D control valve assembly. The correct answer is B engine idling, RPM. Explanation. If the engine idle, RPM is too high, you will get a sharp shock. When shifting from neutral to drive, and checking RPM is the easiest and quickest check to make. The other choices are possible causes, but would not be the first thing checked. Number 8. The online service procedure for a stall test tells the technician to place the gear selector in the neutral position for one minute at idle between stall tests. What is the reason for this step? A. Lower RPM. B. Raise RPM. C. Cool ATF, automatic transmission fluid. D. Heat ATF, automatic transmission fluid. The correct answer is C. Cool ATF, automatic transmission fluid. Explanation. You need to cool the ATF, automatic transmission fluid, between stall tests to prevent fluid oxidation. Option A is wrong, because placing the gear selector in neutral is not done to lower RPM. In fact it will raise the RPM option B is wrong, because placing the gear selector in neutral is not done to raise RPM, although the RPM will increase, this assists in the process of cooling the ATF option D is wrong, because placing the gear selector in neutral will not heat the ATF, it will act to cool. Number 9. Which of the following is the first step to diagnosing an automatic transmission or transaxle customer concern? A. Perform a pressure check. B. Hook up the scan tool. C. Perform torque converter tests. D. Verify the concern. The correct answer is D. Verify the concern. Explanation. Verifying the concern is always the first step in a diagnostic strategy to determine if there is a true concern. The rest of the tests are done after step 1. Number 10. A transmission is being overhauled. Technician A says some fiber clutch plates may be reused. Technician B says the old gaskets and seals should always be discarded. Who is right? A. Technician A only. B. Technician B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. The correct answer is B Technician B only. Explanation. Technician B is correct, because gaskets and seals are always thrown away. Technician A is wrong, because the fiber clutches always wear and must be replaced on an overhaul. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.